Hi, hi, guys. Welcome, welcome. For those of you who may not know me, I am Mary LaFay with Vintage Retail Therapy, and I'm in Fallbrook, California, San Diego County. Today, we have so much fun stuff. You guys, there's so many things I want to show you. So who's a stamper? Tell me if you've stamped with the IOD stamps before. They're fabulous, by the way, just in case you've never used them. So today, we're going to do kind of like a stamping 102 or like advanced stamping. And I can't wait to show you all the tips and tricks that I have planned for you guys. We're going to be stamping with the IOD stamp called Pavo. And I know, I know you guys, you, you watched me do a project with this already, but I just love this little peacock. I can't get enough of them. And today we're bringing IOD into the bedroom. And it's not what you think. Did you know that you can put different color inks and paints on your stamp? It's a really cool effect. It gives it, in this particular pattern with the Bohemian, gives it a really super cool vibe. Let me know in the comments if you've done that before, or better yet, if you're gonna try it. So here I'm mixing the green, and I think we'll do a little bit of the turmeric, which is the yellow, in this section. And then there's an older generation ink that we carry that's called garish and let's do it on the other one if you're stamping onto fabric and you feel like you need a little security you can put like a board or even a book underneath it just to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. Ready to go, let's do it. So I just have this little thin piece of board underneath here. So once you put your stamps down, you're committed. Don't shift, press down. I hold with one hand and press over with the other hand, making sure that you get over all your little areas of your stamp. Hold with the other hand and do the same thing on the other side. And did you know that every single one of your IOD stamps that are uh, borders, they naturally connect. So you just have to look and see where to find the connecting pieces. And it's okay if the colors overlap a little bit. I'm not mad at it. I just love the way that came out. Don't you? Tell me in the comments. Okay, moving on to the peacock. I think our peacock needs to be a few different colors too, don't you think? So we're gonna use the turmeric for his face, the garish for the little top plumes, and let's throw a little bit of this ocean's deep in there. Why not? More is more. Mix up these ink colors a bit. So I'm kind of applying the ink colors in a random pattern on the stamp. The stamps have natural distressing and I love that because it's not made to be perfect. Perfection is overrated anyway, don't you think? Come on, who's with me? Once you get your stamp down, you're committed. Don't shift it. It's 
sometimes I like to take a little peek ski just to make sure that I've got everything where it's supposed to be. Shabam! Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so remember how we talked about how we're, I'm gonna teach you some advanced tricks? You remember the little Mylar sheets and how I said I cut them to size? Do you know that the Pavo stamp has a right and left everything? So these feathers, there's all a right and a left side. So I like to put them both on the same sheet so I can flip back and forth. So now I'm gonna show you something that's called masking. And basically, it's just what it sounds like. You're masking off your initial image so that you can stamp over it without getting it like all mucky because it looks bad when, when that happens. So what you wanna do is you wanna stamp your image on, I like to use like a thicker card stock, uh, but you can use paper. Uh, the reason I use the thicker card stock is because I save them because it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes to cut them all out. So you stamp your image, you cut it out, you're gonna place this over your initial stamp on your uh, the piece that you're working on and it's gonna mask it off. And then you can go in with all these yummy feathers and we're gonna use, again, we're gonna use the Ocean's Deep, we're gonna use the turmeric and we're gonna use the garish. You're gonna love it, you guys. It's really cool. just to clean my stamps off really quick with just a little baby wipe here. They're not just for butts. They work great on your stamps and it cleans them just enough to get your next colors on. Especially if you're like me and you're gonna be mixing up all the colors. You wanna give them a quick little swipe in between. So I typically will make a mask out of all of the elements of my peacock because you can use multiple masks at the same time. And you're gonna see this demonstrated right now. So I've got a mask on the large one and I've actually done two masks of this one particular piece and I'm gonna use it here in these two places. Sometimes you just kinda of have to play around with it and see what looks good. And a lot of times you don't even know what looks good, but you know what doesn't look good? I don't know, that's kind of how I am. Kind of like this little feather down here. Okay guys, we're done. Whoop, whoop. Let's see, check it out. Okay, so you can see how all the IOD trims connect. You can see how we mixed our colors and our stamp. In fact, let's do a really quick recap, okay? I don't know about you guys, I forget stuff. If I don't write it down or if I don't see it again, sometimes I don't remember who's with me. Okay, for your newbies. First time you're using your stamps, peel them off the backing. Don't worry about ripping them. They're super, super durable. Sand them with a 220. One time, one and done. You're good after that. It opens up the porosity and helps it to accept your ink, IOD ink, or you can use DIY paint. I love using the paint sometimes when you need a specific color that the inks aren't available in. But check it out, if you're going to use your DIY paint with fabric, you wanna mix it with liquid patina. I just kinda eyeball it. It's like girl measuring, just a little of this and a little of the back, that, but it's probably half and half or pretty, pretty close to it. Uh, you can use an ink pad, you can use, but you know what? If you don't have an ink pad, you guys, no big whoop. You can use your brayer, either one. Use what you got. 
Uh, you wanna pre-wash your fabric and dry it. No fabric softener, okay? And what that's gonna do is, you don't want that fabric softener in there to impede um, with your ink or your paint, just kinda sucking up in there. Um, so use your stamps. You're gonna make a mask with your stamps. So I, I typically will mask the entire set, um, especially something like the Peacock, which is fabulous. I love this guy. So I use masks and I save these. So once you stamp them on your, I usually do like a thicker card uh, stock, but you can do paper too. Cut them out. It's a kind of a pain in the tuchus to cut them all out. I'm not gonna lie, but save them because you can use them again and again. So the purpose of the mask is to basically just what it implies. You're masking off that area so that, for example, and this might be a better visual. If I have this peacock and I wanna make all these feathers look like they're coming out from underneath, I don't wanna attach it like that by masking it you can see how you can really, if I wanted to make this short or long, there's so much more play in there. So I make masks of all my little pieces and I use them over and over. Next tip, don't forget to use your thin mouths. I call them gritted mylar sheets. I don't know, it's probably not the right word, but I love them because it just helps me to kind of, it's kind of like an insurance policy. It gives me something to hang on to. Super useful if you're stamping on curved surfaces. Um, the Peacock, the Pavo stamp, has a right and a left everything. So I typically will put my right and my left on the same mount so that I can flip back and forth easily without, because I'm all about like the shortcut, who's <laughs> with me. Um, then I don't have to take it off, put it back on. So I always do that. It works great, it really works great. Don't be afraid to use color, you guys. I really want to encourage you. Use your colors, especially the Pavo and the Bohemian stamp. They go together like peanut butter and jelly, and you need some color in there. So I really want to encourage you to do that. Tell me in the comments if you've done that. Tell me in the comments who's going to try it. I want to know. Tell me the color combos. Also, I just want to go over really quick the materials that we used. The Bohemian stamp the Pavo stamp. We used IOD inks in Garish, Ocean's Deep, that was that real pretty turquoise blue. Um, turmeric, which is kind of like that really cool mustardy yellow. And we used New Grass. Those were the products that we used and you can find them all on our website if you can't live without them. VintageRetailTherapy.com. I think we're about done for today until next month. But hey, if you're my kind of crazy, come and jump over and follow me on my YouTube channel, Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. We have a new project coming out this month. You're gonna love it. It's pretty cool, especially if you're a texture junkie like me. Calling all texture junkies, meet me over there. Until then, ciao for now, you guys.